Good morning. This is your daily outlook for Wednesday, the 3rd of July. The euro collapsed below 130 against the U.S. dollar and found new support at 129.65. In addition to the strong dollar, the single currency contributed to the bearish trend. It looks like the pair may continue its downside ahead of the ADP employment change in the U.S. The U.S. dollar made another rally yesterday, breaking once again its major resistance at 100 against the Japanese yen. The bullish dollar may continue its rally for another day if the ADP data comes out better than expected. Looking at equities, we have the U.S. 500 rebounding from last week's low of 1552 all the way back to 1620. The ADP non-farm employment release may help the index increase even further. Looking at commodities, we have gold continuing to gain ground and is trading around 1245 U.S. dollars per ounce. The precious metal looks to recover slowly and all shows that there is a pickup in demand for gold by market participants. WTI crude skyrocketed above 101 US dollars per barrel, reaching higher highs. The political showdown in Egypt was one of the reasons for this upside, and it looks that the energy price may continue to rise as political instability continues. Now let's look how, let's take a look at what the currencies are doing this morning. We have the Euro USD pivot point at 13040 with a preference to go short at 13040. We have the USD in pivot point at 99.5 with a preference to go long at 99.5. We have the Aussie dollar pivot point at 0 0.9190 with a preference to go short at 0 0.9190. We have the sterling dollar pivot point at 152.45 with a preference to go short at 152.45. And finally, we have the USD CAD pivot point 1.0485 with a preference to go long at 1.0485. On to commodities and indices. We have oil with a pivot point of 99.8, preference to go long at 99.8. We have gold with a pivot point of 1233, with a preference to go long at 1233. Silver pivot point of 19.20, with a preference to go long at 19.20. US 500 pivot point 1685, preference to go short 1685. And finally, the UK 100 with a pivot point of 6270, with a preference to go short at 6270. And of course, for more up-to-date information, please visit us at easy-forex.com. To look out for today, we have these market movers. At 8 in the morning, we had the EU Final Services PMI at 48.6. We have at 12.15 the ADP non-farm employment change expected at 161,000. And in the afternoon at 2.30, we have crude oil inventories to drop by negative 2.6 million. And our mover and shaker for today is the sterling dollar. We have the British pound continuing to the downside for another consecutive day against the U.S. dollar. Today, the British economy will be tested at the release of the services PMI in the U.K. A worse than expected outcome may drive the pair to lower lows. This has been your Daily Outlook. I'm Sarah Henry from the Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a great day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.